Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be testing out some 410 buckshot in the gel block out of a Bond Arms Derringer style pistol. I've seen a lot of conjecture out there on the internet about what this load would do, but not a lot of hard evidence and not a lot of testing, so that's what we're going to try to do today. The round that we're going to be testing out today is the Remington HD Ultimate Home Defense uh, Triple Op Buck. It's got four pellets in there, 410, and it's a two and a half inch shell. And the gun is going to be the two and a half inch Bond Derringer, just so you guys can get a look at that one there. We'll zoom in there. You can see there it is, the two and a half inch model. Now, it's about the most extreme test we can do in terms of a short barrel with 410, because as you can see here, there's not a whole lot of barrel to work with when you actually put that thing in there. So you really only have about half an inch of barrel left over for that, uh, that round two be driven, if you will, through the barrel. So I tried to get some velocity tests out there with the uh, chronograph, but my chronograph was all over the map and was not giving me accurate results. So I was not able to get those, unfortunately. But up next, we'll see how it does going through the gel block. Here's our entrance holes here. We have one right there, one right there, another one right there and the last one over here. So taking a look at the spread, that was at seven feet. We had just about a two and a half inch spread at seven feet. Here we see the wound track. You can see one round stopped at eight inches, one stopped at nine inches. Both rounds that are you don't see there actually were resting right on the bottom of the gel block up against the plastic here. One stopped at 10 inches and the other one stopped right at 12 and a half inches. So the penetration was between eight and a half to 12 inches. We'll get an overhead shot so maybe you can see those uh, wound tracks a little bit better. Instead of the overhead shot, we actually are going from underneath here. So there you see those two rounds that you saw earlier. And you can see that wound track right under here. And that's where that one that went 12 and a half inches stopped. Here you see the four recovered pellets of note. They are actually flattened out. But one thing I noticed uh, when you guys were watching this test, although we were not able to get chronograph data, I did Google it and see what other folks were being able to find out there. Generally results out of this barrel with a uh, triple lot buck 410 we're coming in somewhere in the neighborhood of five to 650 uh, feet per second so certainly not moving all that fast and you could see that in the gel block when you saw those impact shocks that gel block did not move very much um, I've tested nine millimeter uh, hollow points before that have moved the gel block more than that as you guys have seen here on the channel so probably not a lot of energy being transferred into the target but there certainly was enough to flatten those pellets out at least so Decent penetration, probably not a lot of energy moving out there. Whether or not this would be an acceptable self-defense load out of this gun for you is really a decision you guys are going to have to make like always. But as always, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. And uh, I hope you guys maybe learned something in this video. And I hope to see you in the next video.